pressure is real it's it's, it's too much hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel my name is makina yvette if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe so as you can tell by the title of this video we are in finals week today is friday 24th 2024 we're almost in exam week and you know the pressure is real it's 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 too much it, i just i just want to get done with exams and like move on and uh, first semester first year not easy so as a freshman i have to prep i don't have to fail i'm getting ready to go to school i have a discussion with my two classmates and i also have to pick my examination permit i already got done sharing having breakfast i laid my bed well yesterday because of pressure and everything i slept early then i woke up at 11 11 30 pm and i stayed up until five so the girl slept at five something and woke up at 10 something so i still feel exhausted but i have to keep pushing oh i didn't talk about my hair so i did this myself again i did not record it because i took three days basically one day and a half so um your girl had to change up the hair the other hair i washed it by the way i put some products let me show you starting first things first i bought a livara natural organics shampoo it's a clarifying treatment hair shampoo it has green leaves guava leaves methanol shea butter and it actually you know when I put it in my hair the first time, because I hadn't washed my hair in a while. Okay, like me personally, I haven't washed it myself in a while, in months. But on the salon the other day when I did the, is it the May reset? May reset? April reset? One of the two. I think it was April reset. I went to wash my hair and they washed it. But the next day I was combing out my hair and I saw flakes, which they didn't do a really good job. And I felt like I wasted my money going there. They broke my hair i wasn't comfortable with it so um so this actually had a minty feel i think it's the guava leaves or the methane i'm not sure but it removes it removes build up and dandruff from hair and scalp when i did when i did um wash it out and all and then i plated this i didn't see any dandruff maybe just wounds but because i over scratched my head but this really cleaned my scalp i want to try it again and then i'll give a review at the end when it's done if i want to buy a new one because there's still a lot left i bought it i think i bought it last weekend on sunday i also bought this dove shampoo i think that the other conditioner well they're quite expensive i think i bought this at 25 25 25 to 30 but the conditioner is 40 38 to 40 then the living conditioner yo it's almost fifty thousand girl didn't have that money i needed to just wash my hair you know so i bought this instead which was thirteen thousand, i think and it was cheaper though it's small but it has a nice scent it has a nice scent and it it really helps my first paper is on monday then the second one is on tuesday the third one is on wednesday um first paper is math and it's at 2 p.m so right now i'm just gonna go to school pick my examination permit for a discussion with my two friends of which i've already mentioned just gonna pack my bag and then i head out i don't want to carry a lot so i'll just be carrying this my three pens my calculator a book and a ruler my wallet let me head out i'll see you guys later guys it's a sunday evening and i'm on a grind because my first paper is tomorrow when i came back on friday evening i didn't do anything actually i didn't do anything i thought i would read but i was too exhausted so i blacked out and today i woke up to go to church i went to church with my cousins i did not record that because it was just like last minute came back and my brothers were home as i mentioned in one of my videos uh they shifted so they come usually every weekend so yeah i slept just now I slept for like from 3 up to like 5 so that wasn't a lot but like coming to 6 so 
I needed the rest. I knew tonight was going to be a long night. So, well, I'm not going to make it complex. I'm just going to answer a few past papers and see what I know and what I don't know. As if I computer math. And am I ready? I don't know. Do I feel ready? I don't know. Will I be able to answer the paper? I don't know. This will help me tell. So anyway, the computer paper is at 2 p.m. So I'll be leaving here like at 1. And the next paper is at 9 a.m. And that will be business communication. So I will go through it. Um, we shall see how I can divide the subjects today. My coffee with me, I made it some time back. Like an hour ago. And I have my biscuits i have this set up the paper i'm answering is here on the screen and then i have the actual time because i don't want to be checking the time so this is nine it's currently 9 p.m and this is the pomodoro method method whereby um you get 25 minutes to focus and then the short break is like either five minutes or 10 minutes it's according to you so most people use the longer method of 45 minutes but I want to do 25. If I feel like I can do, I can do 45, I'll change the timing. But yeah, this is what we're working with. We're, doing, we're going to start with computer math first. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I am extremely late. I never give you guys an update. When I got done with studying last night, I just hopped into bed and I slept really late. And then I woke up early, but I had to sleep again because I was so tired and I wasn't going to go dream. So I slept again. So anyway, I woke up at around 11-ish, coming 10.30 coming to 11. And now I'm ready. I'm going for my paper. And guys, wish me luck. I'll update you guys after the paper. So let me head to school now because I think there's a mini discussion happening at school and I don't want to miss that. It can't be 12 30, something like that, and I hope I reach on time. Because the paper starts in a few minutes. Well the paper starts at two, but like I'm supposed to be the exam on by one thirty. So I have my bag packed. I have my bag packed. It's not really ideal, but like it has my essentials and my water bottle. Monday, I wasn't able to give you a. I wasn't able to talk to you after because I was so just, I was so stressed and I wanted to rest. I woke up early on Tuesday. I barely slept actually. I woke up early yesterday. And I barely slept and I went straight for the paper. And when I came back, I just blacked out. Like I just came back at I came back at around six and then I tried to be active but I couldn't. I was dozing. I, was, I just said, you know what? So I slept at around seven and I woke up at around three thirty a.m. And I haven't slept since then. It's currently 8.20. And I'm supposed to be heading to school for the paper starts at 9. So, I'm changing my bag. Don't mind my background. It's kind of disorganized. Exam season is not my strong, so it's not, it's not my time. Anyway, I'm changing from this bag. It's kind of dirty. 
because your girl hasn't been taking care of it i'm not in my self-care season right now like mentally and everything so i'm changing from this bag to my laptop bag because we're gonna be using our laptops in this paper they allowed us to so oops ah. so i'm gonna put this in i have a bunch of things but i'm gonna put this in the laptop's in i'm putting my pencil case the bag that i use in my papers that has my id my school id my blue card and my exam permit let me check if they are there and my medicine by the way let me first take that if i pack it putting this in power bank my cable yeah i think that's it not to leave it behind we are allowed to use our laptops in this paper i was also shocked I'm gonna add water in my bottle, then I head out. Tissue and a hanky. Can never miss out on those because you can suffer when there's no tissue in school. Anyway, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. I think that's it. I think that is it. Oh, yes. I want to tick off my exams. I'm still thinking if I should add the other weeks because I only have three papers left after today, and which they are in two different weeks. So I don't know if I should add them into this video or just make a separate video but i'll see but yes examination week <laughs> vlog i'm going to take off big home and i'm going to take off big home and pick up yes. use papa change of pen i'm supposed to be on the road tick tick i'm gonna tick it because your girl is done okay I think that's it let me put this back i'm done i'm just gonna head out now and i'll see you guys later yes I've just come home. I'm exhausted. I even still have my bag. And I am tired. Period. The three back to back papers are done. Like the most tough ones. And the next one is the toughest. Not that I'm declaring some things, but like tough. Now my room isn't looking nice. And I want my bed today. But I don't know if I should lay it because I still have a whole back to back papers and I just don't want to. Anyway. I'm done with three papers. I have three papers left. One on Wednesday and another on the next week on Tuesday, I think. I don't remember. But yeah, guess what? We went to school early in the morning. Like, we left early in the morning. You were with me. And they told us to carry our laptops. Remember, I just you guys. So, guess what? We reached there, entering first shift, and they're telling us, Oh, no, laptops are not allowed. We tried to go to the examination office. Well, our class coordinator did so and she came back and told us that they're not allowed. So we waited a whole a whole a whole three hours for this first shift to get done. Second shift started and they told us, Oh, in this room we do not have your paper. Go to the other room if you have a laptop and you're doing so and so's paper. So we went there. Well the paper wasn't hard, but it was stressing to wait for a paper that long just to find out that they would have accepted us to do that long ago like you get you feel anyway um, my hand is spinning because uh, the bag is heavy and i'm carrying the phone i don't even know if i'm in frame but i'm exhausted so let me go get what to eat watch something shower and sleep so i'll see you guys when i'm reading or something but yeah see you guys later hey guys how are you doing it's uh friday it's the 31st and i'm headed to school for a uh, discussion then my, my background i'm headed to school for a discussion a uh, structure programming because my next paper is next week on wednesday and i have to prepare because your girl almost knows nothing or oh, i know something but like i need to get ready so anyway let me head to school i'll see you guys when i'm at campus because you guys have us in the road so i'll see you guys at campus so information from my I'm talking about my storage hey guys i know i've not been on in a while i haven't talked to you guys in a few days I was lost only on Friday. I just showed a bit of a study. I didn't give you context and all that. Jazz. So we studied structure programming. That is the paper I'm having actually today. It's going to be midnight. Like it's midnight sharp. It's a fifth of June and 
your girl is trying she's trying her best i've been in my by the way um so um the whole weekend i was just chill i didn't think like have pressure but now i have pressure <laughs> not that i haven't been reading but um i don't know i feel like i'm on pressure but anyway it will be done so i have all this to read through and i was supposed to start at 11 today okay yesterday 11 p.m but your girl has been back and forth you know i woke up at 11 actually i came back yesterday from the discussion and i'm back to celebration and my personal sabbath was yesterday so we celebrated something small actually i didn't know anything so next thing you know we are splashing soda and water and juice on her and you know african was celebrating and all of that so we celebrated her birthday and i came here and i was so tired so i ate i watched some bit of a series and i blacked out like at 8 30. then i woke up at 11 pm and then i went to shower now i'm here so i'm going to go through this these two papers i don't know if you're seeing well if you're not i'll just put it on the screen but these two papers are supposed to be on the same day as you see here well this last paper that was supposed to be done at 2 p.m on 11 on a tuesday has been moved to thursday which is tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow at 2 p.m so the girl was shocked and i don't know I'm gonna try. I have to try my right best because I can't fail. It's not a hard paper. It's basically ICT. Those guys in HSC are watching this. It's basically ICT. And we had a test some time back for this exact subject and all, but anyway, it's good because we shall be just done. And this week it will be done once and for all. And then we shall have one paper which will be on Tuesday next week in the morning. Go get it done and then. Finally, we have been in papers for three weeks. Yo, oof, this has not been, this exam period has not been my best, but I shall keep pushing. Anyway, so my time is getting done and I want to sleep at 2 a.m. Then until 4, then wake up at 4 a.m. Read again, then I shower, get ready for the paper, and I head out of here at 7. So I want to take coffee, but I don't want to take coffee now because I know I need sleep. So the plan the plan is to read now go through these that i know then maybe some parts that i don't know maybe before i sleep then at two sharp blackout then at four wake up go make coffee make like coffee because i now not survive the paper because i'm not going to sleep again let's read now i woke up at around they woke me up at 4 30 but i woke up fully at 5 of which i was still half asleep anyway so i'm gonna have my eggs and bread also my coffee i need this because it's an essential right now and i have a paper at nine i don't want to be dozing my paper i'll get back into my grind get done reading these definitions and all that i read yesterday as you saw me and then i'm gonna shower at around seven and i'll leave this place at 7 30 so that i'm ready anyway so i'll see you guys later hey guys sorry i haven't given you an update yesterday i came back from the paper very 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 exhausted so i read for the paper yesterday as you saw me i went for the paper it kind of it was okay it wasn't bad it wasn't good it was fair um yeah so i think we'll hope for the best we'll hope for the best anyway right now i'm going for my it paper and it starts in, a, in an hour i'm supposed to be there in an hour so i'm gonna get a taxi i'm ready ready 
I'm not gonna do a lot. I've already done the necessary, so I'm just gonna pack my bag. I didn't want to go with a bag, but anyway, I'm gonna pack my bag, pick the essentials, and then head out, go to the pick and come back. I'm not gonna record the route and all that's gonna just take time and I wish and forget so I'll see you guys after the paper hey guys today is the 10th today is <sighs> it's the last time I'm revising okay for this semester okay okay not like the last time I'm revising. well let's put it in this row I'm having my last discussion for this semester today and I'm about to head there I'm already ready I'm already dressed don't mind my weird looking hair so your girl is going for her last discussion today for this semester first sem first yeah i'm concluding with school anyway the excitement that i'm having right now like to finish this paper is just anyway the last paper is tomorrow it's tomorrow at nine in the morning it's tomorrow at nine in the morning and i'm so excited to like conclude with this semester and like call it a done deal so this was my timetable this was my timetable i had all these exams i'm only having this tomorrow as you can see this one was moved to the next day after this one you can see this one was fifth then moved this one to sixth so i had back to back papers but yeah so we're gonna take off these ones and call it a done deal took a short time but i felt good you know checking off lists is like it's like the best feeling ever anyway um so yeah i've ticked off the two i'm gonna with this one which is tomorrow and i'm so excited to like conclude and finish exams by midday i'll be breathing freely and not opening a book after that obviously apart from my notebooks my planners and all i'm meaning like school books and all that just so anyway anyway so your girl woke up on a good day today she has begun the week well I'm going back into creating content because I had disappeared for like three weeks. Three? Let's see. Let's say two weeks. Let's say two weeks. Actually, let's say three because the week before exam started, I was so stressed and I didn't have energy to record and my content was becoming off. So I decided to take a break and all. So your girl is concluding with her exams tomorrow. I know I've repeated this like three times, but I'm like, I'm so excited and yeah i guess holidays uh, we call it holidays here but like summer like here summer is summer is summering yeah summer is summering anyway so yeah my content is going to change a bit i'm gonna add something on to it i'll introduce it in my next video and you'll see what i mean but i'm gonna be adding on some small things it was already there but like not too much so i'm gonna just be adding something small and changing it here and there and also some things will change up you'll see in my next video that i'm releasing soon those who don't know i'm an it student at nkomba university i'm in my exam season and well i'm having my last letter tomorrow and i'm so excited and yeah i guess that's it so right now i'm just gonna do my last revision by myself before i head to school because i'm about to leave i will not be recording my journey to school maybe i will i don't know i'll just maybe add a few snippets but i know i'll record in high school because i don't even use that content a lot of it because the video is concluding basically um so yeah i'm going to do some last revision for web development and then i head to school and then do revision with my friends and then i come back here and do the last revision then go for the paper tomorrow morning so yeah Hey guys, the day of the last paper. I forgot to record because I was running late in the morning. I forgot to give you guys an update before I left. And also after the paper, just know today has been a hectic day and I just want to close the day off with a good sleep. It's currently 10.24 and I'm so ready to like close my eyes and like call it a night. And you know, that feeling when you're done with your papers and you're like, I'm not going to open any more books. I'm not going to... That's the feeling I have right now. Anywho, today's paper was okay. Today's paper was okay, just that I wasn't sure about the code. I expected a practical for structured programming and website development, but unfortunately not. Personally, I'm not sure about the code that I wrote for today's paper. 
but we shall see we shall see what happens we shall see we put everything in god's hands um right now i want to do one thing i pull out my pen my pen just a normal pen i'm going to finally take off the subject i have been dying to check off the subject today morning i woke up at 4 a.m they woke me up my classmate woke me up and i was like should i really wake up like but i have to pass so a girl had to do some reading i went through i was in short i was going through but i went through it and yeah so i'm proud to say that with a humongous stick on it a really huge stick really huge i'm proud to say i am done with exams and i can't wait i cannot wait to begin officially to begin my holidays exams were fine they weren't bad they were doable um waiting for results now the results will come out uh august when the semester the next semester starts the second semester which is in august my mind right now is on getting myself organized for this holiday because i feel so disorganized and drained i have dark circles under my eyes like literally but anyway closing the chapter exams the chapter closed exams are done exams are done let's let's stop talking about exams i'm sorry for being lost on here i'm sorry for disappearing i have got your requests of not posting i'm really sorry i'm really sorry and i updated you on instagram go follow me on my socials my instagram my snapchat my tiktok just go look for me makrina event those two names if you just type them in you will find me stay tuned i have something coming up real soon i'm really happy that you've reached at the end of this video i know this video is disorganized some days are not coordinating what and some things I want to change, and we shall talk about that in the next video coming out very soon. I guess I'll see you in my next vlog. I went down with emoji favorite at the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you for watching.